Warning, this video is intended for audiences who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Tariq, k hey. hey. Hey, emergency! Emergency! Someone is acting real sauce! Why? Yeah, Why? who could it possibly be? Uh-oh. There's a it's culprit! Actually, it's William's yeah. favorite game! We need to figure out the Among Us! There's never. Wait, do I, you need I to wanted, figure I was, out the Among I was, Us? That, that, that's, you know, I was going to try and say something to that effect, but <laughs> somehow his, like, butchered way of saying it made me just give up. <laughs> oh my god. That's not how it works, Austin. Have you never no, played Among Us? I don't, I know how Among Us works. You have to find. Like you just told me you had, you had to find the Among Us, is what I heard. That's right. That's, that's not right. at all yeah. what you do. Whatever, whatever it is that's Among Us, we've got to find it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whatever it is. That's mm. how Among oh, Us works. God. I've seen gameplay footage. I have a thorough understanding about the gameplay's mechanic. Hey, I played it twice and oh. use it to uh, murder Molly's 11 year old sister. <laughs> God. <laughs> and well uh, uh, well well you just also to well mm -hmm. i i uh, she asked if i she was like oh i'm playing among us and i was like oh that seems questionable for a child of your age to be playing something like that i mean i guess it has its own like I, yeah but like i guess like they have they, they have some kind of sensors on like language but i was like mm, online games for children seem strange to me uh, yeah, hey, children it, it, online is also very dangerous. Maybe yeah. that's why Facebook shut down Instagram for kids. All right. Yeah, Kidstagram they were going to call it. Oh, Choose yeah. your favorite kid based off this picture. That's, um, ooh, that's, ooh, that's, ooh, that's very dangerous. That's a charm. Well, that's, uh, that's very dangerous. But so so I anyway uh, so somehow I I decided well one. I was the killer, okay. and immediately, while in the same room with her, like, literally, physically in space, uh, tricked her and said, like, oh yeah, come on over here, let's go look for him, and then I killed her, and then looked up, and then she gasped, and I looked up for my phone and went, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then... And then, like, two games later, I 100% gaslit the entire uh, party into thinking that she was the, the, the killer. Uh, and <laughs> No one ever believe in a t an 11-year-old child. Right? Yeah, just, and, uh, you're bullying an 11-year-old? <laughs> no, I, I taught uh, her a I valuable lesson. Remember, 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 like Tyler the Creator says, cyberbullying isn't real, alright? Kids, kids don't have to be worried about cyberbullying. They just have to be worried about the American public educational system instead. Okay, I, that's, I that's taught a, her a, a that's valuable a callback, lesson. William. That's a callback that, to a video that's not look, out yet. And look. that lesson was... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what, don't trust family? Trust no one? I'm the king of games. <laughs> no, I, I am the Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I think you just taught her to, to watch out for people who There's don't know how to There's a sip pizza? Wait, I'm sorry, yes, you what? You said the last time. Sorry, don't worry about it. Did you say oh. sim pizza? Is that what I heard? Yeah, don't, don't worry yeah, about look. it. Look, wait, wait. the only thing you heard was our weekly unnamed Tokusatsu oh, podcast we got series about Common Rider Revice. A weekly discussion series where I also ate personal years of our knowledge about Tokusatsu and Common Rider and drink every part of my friend William. That's you, uh -huh. a person who I am not trying to gas it right now oh my God. Uh, uh, about about anything. As we are joined by our, as we are joined by the co-hosts of the, of the podcast channel. Tariq, as we discuss the latest Common Rider season. Yep, Kamen it's Rider all Revice. coming together yeah, now. Just went straight the to ultimate co plan. Just went straight up to you co two have been demoted. <laughs> you bitch. Jesus fuck. You missed a but few maybe shows. you'll get to become a. Hey, but maybe you'll get to become an edgy Common Rider too. Hmm. <laughs> maybe one day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can become as highfalutin of a fucking character as. Evil. Yeah, hey, look, no, wait, wait, wait. it's just like Terrence Howard in Iron Man, alright? He'll become War, War Machine, alright? Next time. Yeah, when I go out of control, you can be War Machine. Alright then. Okay. 
Not sure don't have a future. Yeah, you can be Don Cheadle, and I can be, uh, fucking, uh, fuck. I'm actually blanking on his fucking name. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Uh-oh. Fuck. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> what was his name? Fuck. He's crazy, and he m- plays a man with Parkinson's on Empire, and he got Jesse Smollett. I know Jesse Smollett, but I can't remember goddamn... The fucking stupid make his own math guy. God damn it! No, Cuba oh, Gooding Jr. Brain. Cuba Gooding Jr. No, right? really, no. you're racist. No, you're no. racist. No, no, no. Wasn't, wasn't Terrence Howard the one that did it's that? It's Terrence Howard. Thank you. Terrence. Yeah. You racist piece of shit. I'm trying, William. I'm trying to remember. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you think Terrence Howard and Cuba Gooding Jr. are the same person, even if they are both weirdly smooth, uh, light-skinned black men? Okay. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> This is what I get for uh, just trying to help, I guess. Yeah, um, Common Rider Revice. Uh, <laughs> episode 5. Yeah. Uh, where oh, yeah, we get... Right. Uh, uh, episode 5, The World Reforming Rider. Who is the traitor? Uh, yeah. I should have put, mentioned the episode title at some point, now that I think I, about it. <laughs> so, here's, here's a... They don't... I guess this isn't that much of a complaint, but it's like... Technically, the world revising right like this. He literally doesn't say a fucking thing in this episode, mm-hmm. so there's actually no like reason to attribute that to him. Mm-hmm. Like in this, it's not like this is a very nitpicky like, uh huh, like statement to make. But it's like we, it's what are those like? I mean, Toei mm-hmm. thing, but like yeah. It's like when it's, uh... Mm-hmm. Who knows? Will Goku make the ultimate change to Super Saiyan 3? And then the last two minutes are him going, I think it's time to go to Super Saiyan 3. And it's like, well, okay, you told me that the episode was about one thing, and then you saved the big reveal for literally the last two minutes. I I mean, that's fine, but also, fuck you for making that title make me think that, like, this was going to be something that it wasn't. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know, it's just, it's, it's one, it's a very weird thing in my mind. It's weird that, like, it's weird when, uh, shows prioritize, like, hey, listen, we're really trying to focus on the reveal here and not really about, like, what the actual episode is about. Because it's really more of, hey, what if we fixed Logan Paul? What if we made reverse Logan Paul? (laughs) Right. Mm Mm-hmm, yeah. Hey, what if we made a Logan Paul that did good things to Japan? Impossible. Mm -hmm. Can't be done. Oh, well, clearly they made something. Because we have... Because (laughs) this... Hey, this episode is all about... What did they call them? Bi-tubers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Is that really what they're called? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is not the same thing as B-cubers in Eden Zero... Or VTubers, <laughs> which uh, get cancelled for supporting uh, Taiwan. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, so... I guess this is... Is this what, like, Iki's dad does? Like, I... If, if Iki's dad is a failing YouTuber, I understand why he's worried about, like, the family business, because I gotta say, if I had a son, and... I by no means uh, am, like, uh, living uh, my life uh, as a as a YouTuber. But if I mm-hmm. were living solely on the checks from uh, this show, yeah, I'd be concerned too. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I would be like, listen, we cannot lose the fucking fit. Like, Iki's whole like people keep thinking that, or, or kind of like blowing off Iki for. Uh, being so <clears throat> to the the family bathhouse, but mm-hmm. that's that's probably owned property, and Japan's had a housing bubble before. Iki's studied clearly; he knows how things work. He understands science, mm-hmm. like he understands like finances. He is like, no, no, no. We gotta hold this down. There's gonna be another rush. We're gonna have to get this. We gotta buy low, sell high. Mm-hmm. Gotta get those numbers up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so, somehow Phoenix's best solution was, hey, let's Mm -hmm. get, uh, our newest recruits, 
like floundering uh father's floundering youtube by tuber channel uh to be our unofficial hotline not unlike another terrible uh, another show's terrible decision of like mm-hmm. hey we have a hotline call us mm-hmm. and somehow Iki's dad is able to like finagle a a a deal where it's like hey listen you send people to us we will be your your public liaison and talk to people. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, like nit. Well, this is it's not even nitpicking. This is one of those things where it's like this is actually a very small detail, but it actually helps to have this in episode five instead of like twenty two. Mm-hmm. Of how are how do they keep finding out about where when a monster's showing up or what's going on? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. We literally spent like. I don't know, it takes maybe uh, five minutes for us to get to the point where the grandpa shows up. Mm-hmm. Like, And it's like, hey, this clearly establishes a method with which uh, our characters have like an information hotline. Mm-hmm. Like, they have some kind of like information network. Great. Glad to know that. Thanks for telling us. I'm glad that you didn't hide, like, a magic book that shows us where fucking monsters are until uh, you were about to fuck off for, I don't know, five to ten episodes at a time. Yeah. Like, there's just so much about Revice that is better done and, and much more competently, like, straddles the line of, like, ridiculous and, like, kind of goofy, but also competent mm-hmm. and like well written I don't know man I mean they just uh, have like they just seem to know where they want to go and like fucking Saber yeah <laughs> much like J.J. Abrams if only we had come into this with a plan <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah but, um, um, I mean so- if we're looking at it, so, so I don't know how, how much you guys look look at the wikipedia page but as far as i'm aware of all of these episodes have been written by the same people so far i didn't it's, i had i usually forget to check the the writer um because i just don't even right? think so, about so, it, so let me so so we're five episodes into revise right yeah. same writer for five episodes let's look at like at saber within the first five episodes that shit was all over the place uh i know that Two I know writers that because within the first five episodes. Yeah, I know right. that because I remember when I I remember going back when I was like, wow, these last three episodes, which were like when Yuri showed up, were really good, and it was like, oh, well, yeah, it was all written by one person who was actually fucking intelligent. Mm-hmm. I guess. Um, but yeah, so this one is about uh, a teetering old man who honestly should not be out right now. He does not seem healthy at all. He reminds me of the Fitzgerald Automo or Automotors, whatever old man that they keep wheeling out to fucking make car commercials. Like this man should not have been on set in any way, shape, or form. He is going to die. He died after this production. He died in this production. That man is so fucking brittle. Holy fucking shit. I mean. Yeah, he he is pretty old. He is like literally shaking at every breath. Hey man, unless he's like probably a really good actor, you know. Yeah, he's good at a- he's good at acting fucking <laughs> he's yep, yeah, sure. You know what, look, William? I'm gonna let look, you have that look, one. I just he is a good he's a good actor. I don't That's I don't, the reason why they I let this old man die on stage. I just don't Not... want to believe that they brought a near dying man onto the fucking camera and have him die in like the next goddamn second, okay? Wouldn't be the first time Japan let uh, old men die. It'll be good. <laughs> anyway, meanwhile, uh in uh back at Shield headquarters uh, Back with the helicarrier? Yeah. Uh, somebody's dealing with uh, and the little penis syndrome. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, decides, you know what? Fuck it. They said I can't do it. Uh, I'm going to go do it. Uh-huh. Now, I don't... What, what's the character's name? It's not... I was going to say it's Hijima, but that's not it. It's something... Kijima? The second command to George, right? Uh, 
No, no, the guy, well, technically, I think Daiji is now the second command. Mm. Um, but the guy who got demoted. No. Um, um, I don't know, I didn't really get his name. Oh, okay, well, I'm going back in. Uh, well, I'm looking at Yujiro the... Wakabaya, no, it's Hiromi Karota. Mm-hmm. So, Karota, yeah. yeah. So, they're really, really making this, like, so obvious that it's him, mm-hmm. like, that snuck in. But I'm a big victim of uh, what I call, what I like to call Obito Syndrome, mm-hmm. which is, uh, it can't be Obito. That Toby can't be Obito. That's too obvious. It's too obvious. There's no way that it's Obito. Mm-hmm. Right, that's, right. That, 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 that's just, uh, that's what everybody thinks. It's gotta be somebody else. It's gotta mm-hmm. be somebody else. And then it's, oh yeah, it's Obito. Oh. Oh wait, so but, you so you want to be you want to say that it's so it's too obvious that it can't be him, but it might as well be it, him. Because I mean, and I don't I don't want it to be Daiji. Mm-hmm. But like mm-hmm. The fact is when we get to the point of Common Rider Evil fucking like a like first appearance out of everybody that's unconscious, the only two that we don't see are Karota and Daiji. So I don't know if that's supposed to be, like, a misdirect, or if it's mm-hmm. just going to be... No, that's that's what it is. It's it's Karota. Like, we weren't trying to trick you or, like, teach you anything. Like, that's just... That's just who it is. Evil's yeah. evil. Bad yeah, people it, are it's bad. It's obvious. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I, I'm... I'm curious to know, like, where that. I'm try. I'm curious to see where that goes, mm-hmm. but I, I, I'm sure that I'm going to be like, oh, okay, it was just him all, all along. Cool. All mm-hmm. right. Well, nothing special. But mm-hmm. anyway, so aside from like the obvious red herring, probably not even being a red herring. Um, mm-hmm. Where are but what would be funny is just it's, it's gonna be some who's a complete third party individual, right? Yeah. Instead right. of Phoenix, it'll be Cerberus. Yeah. yeah oh, oh hey, God. hey, it could be the janitor. You know who else has access to a high maintenance facility at night? Well, the yeah, janitor. but you use the key card. The the thing is, like they're saying, it was somebody's specific key card. So I get. I don't that. know. A janitor has a lot of keys. He has. He to has the skeleton key, building, you know? and it is spoopy season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Hey, has anyone checked up on the janitor? Did George ask the janitor where he was last night? Right? Yeah, well, George doesn't care. George is only here to fucking to snap mechs and fucking like, build mechs. Oh, God, and yeah. he's all out of mechs to build. <laughs> I forget how fucking wild that shit was. Snapping just... mechs? I, I'm I'm t- keeping that line, by the way. Snapping mechs and building mechs? Holy fucking shit. The absolute king. Oh, Okay, so let's 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 power through so that we can get to George being awesome. All right, so they immediately go. Uh, somebody stole two of our vis stamps or vice yeah. stamps, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, our secret and, government facility. Yeah, on our secret government flying hover ship. Yeah. Clearly, nobody else can get on this ship. One of y'all motherfuckers stole it. Great, mm-hmm. awesome. So we've got the crisis. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Grandpa, it has found his fucking like grandson. Uh, Twitch streaming, again, be better Twitch, uh, Twitch streaming all over the place about him doing terrorism to a fucking Fortune 500 company, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, like, that's real fucking Gen Z shit. Hey, I'm gonna live stream myself fucking attack- fucking doing a crime. Um... But anyway, so Hell, you gotta Japanese get that lo- TikTok thing somehow, right? Yeah, just Japanese like those Logan girls Ball. that TikTok that tick recorded this of stealing jewelry from a dead body. All right, they oh, gotta yeah, get yeah. that. Oh yeah, yeah, that was that was a thing. Yeah, that oh. was a thing that happened. Oh my god, really? Hey, hey, look, yeah. hey, look, hey, it turns out the incident was a was a mistake on the youth. All right, it turns out that there are bad people out there. Yeah. That do bad things. Yeah, it totally, um, the, the internet reveals reveals how depressing humanity actually is. Oh god. Okay, that's really Jesus though. Okay. Yeah. Well, people are bad. 
Anyway, um, so yeah, he commits a fucking actual crime and is, like, threatening people with a goddamn monster, uh, mm -hmm. that he has absolutely no fucking control over. Yeah, uh, this yeah. is not the same as, uh, last week's girl, who actually, like, signed a contract with hers, and, mind you, while she was uh, clearly going through some shit, was actually intentionally doing it, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. he's just like, I'm doing good by summoning my, my fucking stand, which... Yeah. That's not a stand, my boy. You just made a monster. Mm -hmm. um, and Iki immediately goes, now nah, I'm going to whoop some ass. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then proceeds to actually successfully just whoop ass on a monster. The eh, first five minutes of the, uh, or what is it, ten minutes of the show. Yeah. Which is actually great. Was, yeah, uh, it's another this episode is actually seen by how much is done with this episode. But it's another... Right, because another one like of this would be mid episode. Like this is on a, a mid episode drama that's going on. Right yeah. now. but no, all, they do all this. Yeah, they, the first they breeze by this whole like teaching this kid the meaning of uh his, of familial love or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. think that'd be like the whole episode, but they're like, no, nah, this is just going to be a setup for but, other stuff that's going to happen. Later right. On. Yeah. The worst but this is, is the second time that we've had this though, because that happened with the golf the the first guy, the golf. This stamp mm -hmm, mm -hmm. guy too. Mm -hmm. It seems like uh, Vice is more about like, and I, but I don't know if this is Vice doing it because they have two riders technically, riders with a D, or if it's because uh, they're trying to like, if if they're trying to make, uh, if they're just they. They always intended that it was going to be this fast paced. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, it feels like the fast pace is intentional at this point, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely not to its detriment, though. No, yeah. it's not. Because it, it makes it work because it doesn't. And it, it is different between this and, like, uh, Sentai, right? Or Power Rangers, quote unquote. Where it's mm -hmm. like, we have to get to the monster, like, growing big, usually. Otherwise, it's weird. But this mm -hmm. is like, if. He kills, like, seven different monsters in one episode. I mean, he killed seven different monsters in one episode. That happens. Yeah. Yeah. But, so, you know, it's uh, really good. Yeah. Anyway, the police show up late. Uh, Phoenix gets there at yeah. the end. Yeah, and the then... grandfather somehow managed to, to go up 12... To manage to get to the second floor of the building. To find Managed to his get to the second floor of the building. Uh, run past all of the screaming people... Uh, get up there, and then he shows up just to give his grandson lunch. Yeah, and still yeah. be lost and confused about where he is. Yeah, uh, Grandpa, I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> you, you are insane. Like, Grandpa needs to go to a home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, Once know, again, at point, yeah. back at it again with go to a home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so Sakura going, is getting a vice. From from the mother. Hey, I'm really yeah. glad that Bad advice. Have... Ho -ho. Ooh, 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 right. It's actually crazy how we actually have these characters doing these one of because wait, we going back to how the fact that the mother is the matriarchy of this family, right? Yeah, and how she mm -hmm. keeps everyone in check. Right? Is single handedly holding everything together. Yeah, right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, yeah, that yeah. we actually do get these nice, but where we see her like instead of being focused all on Iki and his or Daiji and their problem, we actually hey hey hey, there's a sister here too. Let's, let's focus on her. Let, let her have a moment with the mother, right? So they can mm -hmm. get out their mother-daughter drama out the way as well, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's a, it's real good in like how they gave us these little character moments so that we can actually you know go to care and like these characters, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? And, not have, and character. Not have like five characters in a room trying to figure out what's going on into a ghost from two thousand years ago. Show <laughs> me, be like, all right, here's what's going on. God, I, I'm still so frustrated because the other ghost from two thousand years ago. 2,000 plus years ago, is absolutely no fucking help, and is honestly kind of absent most of the time. Yeah, honestly. God, though, it's just, like, it's it's kind of nice to see something like this, you know? Yeah, but, uh, yeah it's just... Like, these characters, like, these, just, like, they're, like, these are actual characters that are, that are, that are being developed and written, right? Like, we mm -hmm. actually, like, ooh, we learned that about Sakura's fucking uh, issues and everything. Right? Yeah, yeah, right? And it's just, Instead like... Instead of having to, like, I don't know, Establish her character issue in a spin in a different show's episode where you appear as a crossover guest character in. Oh my god! 
Yeah. Hey, but but don't worry. But don't worry. It's it's it's, it's sunset now, and and there, and everyone's on the helicarrier and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And so comes the best part. Uh, George, the absolute god of this show. First oh of all, his little pouty face of go of being happy that his vice stamp comes back. Amazing. Uh, already perfect. But then, right. in an absolute moment of directorial brilliance, they decide. They say, "Hey." Act like you're getting ready to fucking murder someone. <laughs> this scene literally comes out of nowhere because we don't, right? It's just, like, have you ever, listen, just amazing. Have you cause... ever been in a fight before? No? I don't care. Pretend that you have. Do oh it. Oh my just... god. He just fucking, like, he just imitates the fucking motion of snapping a man's neck. Right? That's and I that's thought, like... fact that snapping a person's neck, right? It's like, he's like he's imitating fighting a guy. No. He's imitating committing an actual <laughs> murder. Yeah. yeah I'm like... not here to fight. I'm not here to fight. I'm here to fuck shit up. And I like how... I'm here to <laughs> murder someone. I just, I just... Amazing. I just love that he looks at the guy that we're all thinking is like we all pretty much know that oh, he's the yeah. guy who betrayed them. But he's looking at it like, yeah, I know, I know what you're about. You think you think I'm scared of you? I'm doing this right in front of you. Uh, this look, this is what I'm gonna do to you when when it, when it comes out. He's always saying how they. Have I have killed before and I'll kill again. Out of nowhere too, which is great. Oh my god. Because that's something we established from George's character. Like this man takes yeah. no shit, man. He just he just yeah. does whatever the fuck he wants, man. It's Don't amazing. touch. Listen. If there's one thing I know about people who keep uh, figures, don't steal my shit. If you steal my shit, I'll fucking snap your neck. <laughs> God. Oh, but it's so good. It was, yeah. It was honestly uh, the best moment. George, back at it again. Back at it again. Oh, my God. And he, the, 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 fucking the, murder. The, the one thing he does later, too, was actually kind of fun, funny. But we'll get to it there. We, we, I think we should discuss it about, like, how... Um, George, no, no. George is absolutely amazing. This entire oh no, episode. yeah, totally. It's just like I'm, I'm. I just, you know, we have to talk about this moment, and then we get to. That uh, we got to talk about this episode. I mean, we got to talk about the show, but I just keep wanting to talk about George alone. Because... Honestly, George is a fucking wild card. He's just fucking yeah. great. He's just kind of, he's kind of like, and it's amazing how like in such a short amount of time. I feel like, I mean, I totally believe he's, there's going to be a heel turn and he's going to be an enemy later on because it kind of gives off mm -hmm. that vibe a little bit. But, like, I told, like, he kind of, like, right, as of, as of right now, for, for this moment, he kind of became the Yuri of this ep of, of the series right now, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's definitely, he definitely is, eg like, exuding big, like, you know, I'm here for exposition and, and like, mm -hmm. like, holding down... Uh, the base, but or or holding down the, the fort. keeping everyone grounded or focused, right? Uh huh. But mm -hmm. but he's also just like he's also like I guess if we're comparing him to saber characters, which is honestly an injustice to uh fucking uh, uh mm. injustice to George and honestly most yeah. of the characters in the show. Yeah, that's uh, I would agree with that statement. Uh. He's also like the tassel, where it's like, and the disaster. It's almost like they didn't need to make so many different characters <laughs> to get one competent one. Um, but like, mm -hmm. he's really, he's really all over the place, but in such a eccentric way. I guess is the best way to put it. He really well uh, plays the mad scientist sort of card well. Mm -hmm. Like, not in a, like, I'm a kooky, crazy old man or I'm fucking goddamn Pickle Rick. Mm -hmm. But, like, in a way of, mm -hmm. you know, he is just not angry, but just, like, excited for everything. Mm-hmm. That's that's how I see George more of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we should also talk about like um, they're talking just like right after the whole bit is like when they're kind of talking about like um, setting the kid up as bait. I don't really yeah. call his name. I yeah. When so um, so when they're trying to figure things out, uh, it's Bon. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Bon. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, B O N like like a Bon Bon or whatever Bon Bon. Oh, uh, yeah. Bon. Uh, yeah. Um, 
But, uh, yeah, it's actually Daiji's plan to say, hey, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, we could always have the fucking kid do it, and, uh, the fucking, again, I keep forgetting his goddamn name, uh, uh Karota, uh, mm -hmm. is the one that's, that goes, are we really getting a civilian involved in this? And, uh, the commander's like, it's probably, a, it, it's what we've got, we need, like, time is of the essence. Which, again, is kind of, uh, a, it feels like a, a misdirect, or an intentional misdirect, um, mm. setting up, like, that Karota is the one that's actually, like, mm -hmm. uh, concerned about stuff, and, and, da and Daiji is the one that's trying to, like, do sus shit. Yeah, they, they definitely do get with the vibe, especially with how Daiji is all, um, he's very on edge, you know? Yeah, he got, he, he was angry all of a sudden at, at, uh, fucking, at, um, at Iki again, and it's like, uh, well, okay, that seems unnecessary, dude. Yeah, it's just, it's very evident that the stress of everything is kind of getting to him. But it's also kind yeah. of like, again, with the misdirect, I can kind of see, like, if it wasn't for, like, the thing that happened at the end, confirming, like, which is practically a confirmation, unless they do something in the next episode. Um, mm. If it wasn't for that, I would have probably like, is he really? You know? Because it, it, yeah. it, is, it, is, it is effective, but it's like, it's also kind of like in the back of your mind, you're like, it's probably not, you know? Mm -hmm. Because, um... It's not. It's not very. It's. It's. It's a minor misdirection. It's not like a. Yeah. It's not like they're like trying to make it a mystery. It's just like eh, it's there. Yeah. But I mean, I, it's. Mm -hmm. It's definitely the. Not the easy choice necessarily, but it's. It's an. It's. It makes sense. It's just. I. Don't like. I. I just can't stop my uh, conspiratorial brain, I guess, from going, it's, it's gotta be deeper than that. <laughs> yeah. Q uh, sent me, he told me that it's that it was Daiji. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but anyway, uh, the other great moment, again, another great George moment, George just slips in oh fucking, yeah, like, yeah. A, like a goddamn phantom, sneaks in and tries to play guess who with a man with a gun. Daiji pulls a fucking pulls the fucking cell phone gun right up to George's face and is about to blow his goddamn brains out. Yeah. Oh my god. It's just like, oh, okay, man. I was just trying to. I was just playing a joke, my guy. Oh, ho, oh, ho, oh, ho! Oh, why did I give you a gun? Oh my god. Oh boy. Wow. Oh, this was a mistake. Yeah. But like after what, uh, what I love more, of, like more, is just like right after that moment of confrontation, Daiji kind of just like he kind of leaves, you know, to be off by himself. And you see, you see our fucking man George off. In yeah. The yeah. He's just watching yeah. him with a George just George gun. decided to stay in the bathhouse <laughs> and he was like, I'm just gonna keep hanging out uh, here, uh, Iki. Take the line by step by step. Hey, you guys the, do whatever you're gonna do. Anyway, I like I like bathhouses too. And then he just fucking rubber ducky, yeah. you're so fun. Not even rubber ducky. Rubber ducky, ducky. you're chicken. the one. That's what a lot of people goals to, right? It's, no, because this is Right, not everyone goes. Right, not everyone has everyone goes to a valley. He's taking. He's making the most. Like he realized, yeah. I'm gonna be driving. I'm gonna be driving 30 minutes to this location to pick he up. He brought all right? 18. Well, how many are there? One, two, three, four, just, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no, but ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen sixteen. Like There's at least fifteen rubber ducks in there. I'm yeah. sure he brought them himself. But he <laughs> also had one of those rubber squeak chickens. <laughs> yeah, he had a rubber right, chicken. He just brings it up, and I love that they added the sound where it just screeches like. Uh, it was why? just. It was just. But it was also squeaking for so long, and I'll 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 take this point again, like. George, like, doing this, sh like, shit watching Daiji, it really feels like there's definitely some kind of misdirect going on where <laughs> something is up. Something yeah. is up with, like, Daiji and... Maybe it's Daiji and, uh, fucking goddamn man whose name doesn't get to be remembered, uh, <laughs> Karota. Uh, yeah. But, like... I don't know if it's gonna be if that evil is going to be like a reverse vice where it's like two people, which isn't a reverse vice. That's just W. 
fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I was about to correct him, but I was like, whoa, you're starting to sound all like double all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. I just like, oh, reverse vice. They did that already. That's double. Uh, <laughs> and I guess that doesn't work. Uh, but I, they could do it. They shouldn't. They, they could. do it again. Nothing stopping them yeah. from doing it again. It's just like how there's nothing stopping them from making another dino themed Sentai season again. <laughs> listen, listen. If there's one thing I know about dinosaurs, is that they never get old. Yeah, because they can't anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> that wasn't the reference I was. What? <laughs> no one is. Hey, hey. I. I know that this is the wrong podcast to do this, but I just want to point this out. Uh-huh. Zeno said, I'm glad you're not extinct to Solon. That implies that at some point, someone had to sit Zeno down and explain that ex- the dinosaurs <laughs> yeah, are they fucking had to, extinct. They had to explain all his and, friends were dead. Yeah, all his friends are dead, <laughs> push him to the edge. And I just think that's, I just think that's a fucking great like thing to picture. Um, that's just me. But mm-hmm. anyway, um... <laughs> So yeah, uh, better things are happening. Uh, our absolute god has a rubber chicken that he takes to the bath with him. Mm-hmm. Uh, mind you, like speaking of speaking of Japanese Logan Paul, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Imagine, um, imagine a fucking like white American YouTuber just like coming into a, a Japanese bathhouse, throwing a shit like. Dropping a shit ton of fucking rubber duckies and then sitting there creepily squeezing a rubber chicken, like, as people are just trying to, like, like the bathhouse employees are, like, trying to, like, live their lives. That would be fucking wild. That also <laughs> seems like something that Logan Paul would have done, but, like, it's so fucking funny to me. It's so funny to me. The idea of, yeah, I'm here. What's up? Is this making you uncomfortable? Yes, it's making me... Yeah, of course it's making me uncomfortable. This is a weird thing. George, go home. Like, please. We closed three hours ago. (laughs) Sir, this is a Wendy's. (laughs) Oh, my God. But, yeah, I mean, I guess where where are we at this moment? We're just... Uh, We're at... uh, We're at... We're at... Uh, Japanese Logan Paul's uh, apology video, which unfortunately, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, he has to like in true Japanese fashion, he has to have like a televised press conference about it. Like, hey man, that like he's he a dis- he also he's doing this in the middle of the warehouse, right? Hey, where did he get those? God, those are he must have used so much extension cables to get that light set up, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, he could. What if he got a generator? Oh, you're right. You gotta have a generator. That is true. Yeah. yeah. But, like... Yeah. But... Like, I don't... I I guess... I guess Logan Paul did have to go on, like, some kind of apology tour after the Japan shit. You know, oops. Oops, I kind of made light of a fucking hanging corpse in a goddamn suicide forest. Yeah, he had that whole but, like, apology video. But he also had, I th- he also had to do like a small like PR tour like on like, uh, like he did some actual televised interviews, um, but like, why would you need to like if I were the fucking dead man, dead man's right? Uh huh. I guess the organization is dead man's. Is it dead yeah. man or is it dead man's? Dead man's. I it's say... not also, uh, boy. You know, I'm not. I'm not usually one to just like shit on Japan for for English, but that's just not how. That's not how. That's not how pluralization works. That's how how pluralization works in Japanese, even. But like, sure. I guess we're just going with dead man's. Um, but like, if I were the dead man's. Why would I fucking take the bait on this? Like, I get that, like, the threat is maybe he's gonna smash a vice stamp, a vice stamp, but also, vice stamps aren't, shouldn't be that breakable? And it's clearly a trap. Yeah. Like, it's clearly a trap. Well, you know, unless we figure out that they're all made in China, and that's their cheap plastic. 
You never know. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Once again, Toei has the rights to the... Uh, has the soul... Has a monopoly on this material. <laughs> oh, just on the soul material of making their toys? Yeah. Damn. This plastic is... It's called Toei plastic. <laughs> Toei plastic? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. But, um... Yeah, so we get two of our... So, so we get... Mm-hmm. So, 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 so we get a fucking... What are these characters? Julio and... Oct- Octae? Uh, was it O R T E C A? How do you pronounce it? Orta? It is. It is. Olteca and Julio. Yeah, Orteca. All right. So trivia, trivia, William. This is your bit to learn now. All right. So we finally see Orteca's uh, monster form this this week, right? Right. It's a giant squid. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a giant squid. What right, right. and who and what do you think Julio's monster form is, William? I mean, they say it. They oh, they oh, say yeah. it though. No, they no, did no, say no. it. Oh, did they? I oh well, well. It's... Thank God, William's not no, not I, attentive. I watched, I watched this like a few days ago, so it's like I saw it, but I don't I don't memorize everything. You know. Okay, mm. it's a wolf. It's a wolf. All right. Wait, that's a yeah. wolf. Yeah. 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 It's a wolf. I, all right. So we have I a guess. squid and a wolf. So yeah. Like, but also we have. We have a squid and a wolf, and the wolf is, for whatever reason, has a gun, a hat, and l- just overall looks like the fucking Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, he looks like a real, but that's not the point. So, so you're thinking, you're probably thinking, why is this a wolf and why is this a squid, right? This is no correlation, no relationship to anything, right? Uh-huh. You would think that, right? But yeah. no, you're wrong. Once again, this this is a this is a very this is an actual common writer reference with a common writer. It's because oh. the, this is a reference to the original Kamen Rider, like the original 1970s Kamen Rider. Wait, Wait the enemy oh, forms? Is I didn't even like, know that. Is it like a reference to like the enemies or like to actual? Yeah, because oh, okay. one of the because the er, cause some of the earliest enemy that the original Kamen Rider fought was Squid Man and Wolf Man, literal or Octo Man or some shit. I don't remember. Uh-huh. Uh, look, look, back, look, back then, back then, I'm gonna let you know, back then during the search, people weren't creative. They added the word man to the end of any animal subject and called it a damn, right? I mean, we did right? get, it, you know, we got Jet Man, so, I don't know. You're, yeah, you're right, look, look, if you add the word man at the at the end of a subject, you, you get a, you get a name. Yeah, so, Julio and Octera? Olteca. Olteca, or enemies of or reference to the original Kamen Rider villain, all right? Okay. So, that, so that makes you think two out of three now are 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 Kamen Rider reference, right? But we still haven't seen what Christina Aguilera's fucking uh, animated <laughs> design is, right? Uh, I, mean, I mean, wait, what was the? Oh man, wait. So what was the? I didn't even know that. So is. So wait. Uh, I... Okay, I mean, you you ask your question first. Okay? Well, I was gonna say, was there a third, uh, general character in yes. a? Okay, one of the first two shocker generals from. So, is there there is a third one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So. Uh. So. Uh, Julio's a reference to Colonel Zol, aka Wolfman. Oh, okay. Uh, um, Octeca is a reference to Doctor Death, Squid Death. Doctor Shinigami. Yeah. yeah. So. Wait, uh, okay. All he... right. So, Jigoku Taishi. Mm-hmm. All right. Boy, there's boy. That's a long Wikipedia. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I guess while you're looking at, because I did have a question, like, are like, yeah. is, is is everything about them a reference? Is like the text a reference to, or what? Then? No, I think it's really just the enemy design, as far as I'm aware of, right? That are a mm-hmm. reference to, that are a reference to the original Kamen Rider, right? Because remember, the original Kamen Rider Shocker, the original movie, there were the Nazis, all right. And the dead men uh-huh. don't seem Nazi ish yet, oh. as far as I'm aware of. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Uh well, okay, I mean Uh-oh. I don't want her to be Jigoku Taishi. I don't want her to be fucking I don't want her to be Gara Garanda. Um, is this something I should know? Uh, it's... Uh, look, 
she might wind up looking bad. Oh, like like bad design wise, or because of uh, like, the of like the just not fun to look at. Mm, I mean, they're monsters, right? So they should. I mean, they should be. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is gonna be okay. Well, I guess I'm assuming. Listen. Be what's back. your? Hey, listen, listen, William. What's your take on uh on 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 Vor? I hate it. Well, oh, oh, okay. You know what? We're gonna stop that right there. So anyway, they have. What, they, are we in the middle of the fight with those two? Right? We, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's it. That's that's it. That's no, okay. That, that's, that's, about, that's all we want to talk with you about. Okay. Nazis and war. All right. Okay. Can, can we? So real quick, are we gonna talk about the the, the how? Surprisingly lackluster the the, the, the evil common writer reveal was. Oh, oh. Well, because he just fucking strolls in like a goddamn. Yeah. Like a fucking, like an, I don't know, like a grandpa lost in a fucking like, terrorist well, attack. it's not even like that. It's more like fucking, he just, he's just like, you know, like, you're in the middle, you're, you're jogging in the middle of the night, and the man just kind of appears behind you, and, you oh, know. Oh, is it Shia LaBeouf? Yeah, like Shia LaBeouf, yeah. right? But the thing is, it's like, I'm not sure if I like it or hate it, because, it's like, the suddenness of it, I can kind of get, right? But it's just like... I feel like there should yeah, have been a build up. Yeah, he literally up within the last yeah, minute felt, of the episode. I felt like there should have been a build up, right? Like he came in again. In the this is of the my fight. this is my issue of like this is this weird Toei thing where uh, it's like, hey, we're telling you exactly what the episode is about right at the top. Mm-hmm. It doesn't happen until the absolute end, so it's actually not really that descriptive to make this whole episode title about that fucking part. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's just. It's so weird how this was done yeah. too, right? Like if it was like if it was done in a kind of explosive way, but he just kind of suddenly comes in and then he no, just no way. Does he literally shit. shows up and like, hey yo, what's up? I'm yeah, what's it's, up? it's just like it's just a weird vibe, you know? Just like at least for me, where he just kind of shows up and then it happens, and it's like, oh, is that all we're getting? Yeah, and I mean, clearly the next episode is about is more about it, but like, yeah. like I get it, but it's just. It's it's just weird, you know. At least I was gonna say the also. Uh, yeah, no, no. Finish what you're gonna say. Yeah, it's just I'm just I just meant like it felt like it was like kind of shoehorned in, you know, just to have it happen, and then and then uh, and then we go off to the like to the credits, and I was like, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just gonna say though, uh, the real thing for uh, Williams trivia is hey, uh, try to figure out so. So today's reference, uh, today's form is brought to us by uh, which common writer? Because which everyone is a all. reference. Uh huh. Yeah, I forgot about the yeah. 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 Oh man, but yeah, let's uh, let's go. So, ahead. so the line by stamp, right, mm-hmm. is the first is the is the one that he uses. Uh, I believe it's. Uh, Ku- uh, is it Agito or Kuga? No, it's Kuga. Kuga, so right. So he's using the original. So this is the, well, not the original. This is the first of the Heisei era. Right, this is when they rebooted Kamen Rider. Like, alright, we're doing it again. After yeah. after we gave up in, in the in the 90s. Hey, this one actually looks good. It's yeah. not busy. It looks more like one of those upgrade forms you get in a game. Yeah. Right, with the shoulder and the spikes, right? It actually looks yeah. good. The, the the funny thing for me is this is the second form in a row that I have been like um oh I think that's the Kiva form and then I like look at it more I go no it's not Kiva you really it's not want Kiva. to see the Kiva form at this point don't you like it's not even that I want to see the Kiva form it's like again my brain like can't turn off and stop doing like stupid like overthinking shit like mm-hmm. ever since we got that shot uh, I think it was last episode, or the episode before that. I think it was the episode before that, where we got George working out, being an absolute fucking Chad. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And they showed, like, his collection of belts and stuff, and, like, the first yeah. one that they showed was Kiva. I went, oh, this is gonna be the Kiva form. And it was like, no, it's not the Kiva form. And it's like, oh, this one's the Kiva... No, no. no. Uh, anyway. Um, look, look, at some point, you're gonna get it right, right? Yeah, at some point, if I keep guessing... One day, eventually, I'll get it right. Um, but anyway, um, so the Kuga form shows up. Yep. So Kuga 
uh, they, it's the Lion Vice Dim. Uh, they do 69 to turn into a, a Zoid. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. William, William, what do you think Kuga's motif was? Kuga? No idea. But... I mean, just like, you know, the, based off of based off of all of these other uh, characters, all the yeah. every and other, based like, Based on what we told you so far about Kuga, and yeah. how the themes of this season of every Vice Dance relates to the series being used, right? Mind you, I did tell you, I did tell, I did tell you that there is a common writer that had a, a beast spirit in him that he had to feed the souls of his defeated enemies to. Um, I don't know. Give me a hint and I'll try it from there. No, the, the hint is fucking, is the Kuga. It's yeah, Kuga. You, you, you forget how... His how name is bad, Kuga. You forget how it's bad Kuga. my memory is. Yeah, yeah I don't, but Kuga. I don't know what that means, okay? Yeah. <laughs> what am I, how am I supposed to know what that means? I can't derive a hint from that at all. <laughs> Oh, hey, wait, hey, but hey, hey, the Zodiac know. Killer left three pieces of paper, and people figure out those shit, well, if, if people can figure that out, you yeah, can yeah. figure this you, out, You right? forget that he had a lot more, and literally one of the letters is like, like, on this, like, we don't know what it is, what it is yet. Oh, Alright. <laughs> they haven't cracked the, the code. They couldn't oh. crack it. Oh. You forget. Oh. How am I supposed to crack what? a code if I don't have anything to use for it? Huh? Oh, oh. How am I supposed Dude, to do are that? Are you saying you're the Zodiac Killer now all of a sudden? Are you saying no, that okay. you don't know how to find... How you can't tell when someone's clearly a villain? Okay, look. It's clearly Ted Cruz, alright? Come on. We already, we already know this. <laughs> it's not like it's so hard to figure out. No, it's Ted Cruz's dad. No, yeah, you're right. Ted Cruz... Well, he's carrying on the legacy, alright? For sure. But Oh, uh, he's the green... He's the second Green Goblin? Yeah. <laughs> Ted Cruz is James Franco? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, who's who's the James Sp Franco? Who's this, who's the Spider Man then? Who's this Tobey Maguire? Uh like what? Bernie uh, Sanders? Bernie Sanders <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that old man just like fucking swinging <laughs> around? <laughs> they did it for Wolverine, I don't see why they can't do it for Bernie's for fucking Spider Man. Oh my god. This is fucking What's this like old man Parker? That's what we're gonna yeah, have. Old man Parker. Gonna, yeah, that's what we're gonna get. Old man Parker. God damn. Yeah, man. it. He's the. Uh, he's been Uncle Ben all along. Oh, wait. Uncle Ben was inside you all along. I, I don't like that statement at all. Uh, but anyway, fucking. Hey, oh yeah. So, what, what was he? Kuga was, was based it? on a dragon. All right, there you go. Oh, okay, nice. Wait. Okay. Yeah, wait, nothing no, wait, to do no, with a wait. fucking line. Wait, Once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just. It's. It's the. It's a. I'm assuming the reference is only in the suit design and nothing else, really. Yeah. It's not, I mean, it's not even in the suit design, really. Like, it's kind of in the face. Like, oh, it's so, kind of in the face. So it's only but in, like, in the mask, but nothing else. Because I'm is trying that... to look at... I'm, I'm trying to look at, um... Yeah. Uh, like, Vice's part, and Vice's part looks weird as shit. Like, it's... I don't... I mean, the crown kind of looks like a weird scrunched-up version of Kuga. Anyway, uh, I'm about to go get uh, pizza for a sec. Bye-bye. Oh, don't uh -huh. oh, oh, wow. Oh, uh, Tariq is leaving right as the episode's ending. Okay, yeah, hold on. Kuga's face on a well. stag beetle. Okay, I, I misspoke. One of his oh. form is a dragon. Oh, wait. Oh, how does he go from stag beetle? Uh, actually, I guess that's irrelevant at this point, honestly. Yeah. Uh, oh, what, 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 what do you mean? Wait, wait. Uh, don't you know bugs evolve? Dragons evolve from bugs. That's uh, not what are you, an no. idiot? What? That's not how it goes at all. What do you? Don't you start spotting lines again? I'm not gonna. Oh, I well, will not be party to a gaslighting You're the one that again, doesn't okay? know. That doesn't know the anatomy and evolution of of creatures. Apparently. God. Okay. Whatever. The, the fucking. I'm done. That's it. <laughs> I'm okay. done now. Uh, Just, I fucking end uh, this. Are you? Are you done? Yes. I'm and, done. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm done. Also, hey, I, I, I didn't get tested, but I hate evil suit design. Oh, was it was it that bad for you? I mean, I, I don't it was okay. like I don't like his eyes. Oh, the weird, the weird wavy. I don't know how you. No, 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 it's not. It's a splatter. It's a spray. Yeah, it's a splatter. Yeah, no, I mean, no, the splatter effect is cool. I don't like the fact that it's just spray on that helmet, right? Oh, you're talking about like how it, you would have preferred if it was like etched in. It or was something. rise like how revise, how how Rebby and Vice. Like it, like, like it has like, 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 like an actual visor rather than like the fucking yeah like, right. Instead of on. this weird fuck, it looks really weird, right? I, 
Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I can see what you mean. The thing is... The problem so... is, every Kamen Rider helmet up to this point are visors, right? Like, that's the whole point. You have your visors on your Kamen Rider, right? This goes all the way back to the original design of Kamen Rider. Oh, Good so... Thing back. This guy just show up with a fucking spray paint, right? Like like a shitty... Oh, so he just, he just breaks the rule and you don't like it. Yeah, right? It's, 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 like, it's, it's like how when Spider-Man showed up and he made a shitty homemade costume, right? Uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. It's like that. Right? Once again, uh, going back to Tobey Maguire's Spider Man somehow. Yeah, yeah. Once yeah. again, I uh, managed to manage to get us back. But yeah, I don't like Evil's design, or at least his helmet. His suit design so, fine. Wait, what were you saying? That what do you mean about spray paint? You're saying that he looks. I like don't like what? His, how his eyes are just sprayed on, and they're not visors, right? Like I think I think oh, I agree, but I also think that it's like, like I looked at it, I immediately went, like I saw that. And then I looked up like when the release date for Venom and Carnage was, and I looked back at that. And I went, "Oh, I don't know if this is legal." <laughs> like, guys, this is kind of. Mm. Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Would you say it's kind of sus? And I would say it might be. It might smell like a turd in the wind. <laughs> It's so fuck. I keep I keep forgetting that's a fucking line in that movie. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty great line. I'm gonna be it honest. Is, it is great. Like I loved it. Like the thing is, I don't love it. Like it's a bad movie. We can all agree on that. But it's fucking fun to watch. It yeah. is just so fucking stupid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, other than that, that's this week's episode. All right. Uh huh. Yeah, it's fine. It's great. Yeah, that's right? good. George, George Williams has to be the best character of the show. Yeah, like always. and it's, uh, it's Actually, nice, consistent, how uh, good how the story plot is coherent within this season. Yeah, right? right? Imagine, imagine having what a, what, show. yeah, what, wow. Somehow they stuck the landing five episodes in a row. It's, it, it beggars the mind how they are able to accomplish this a fucking Herculean task. <laughs> yeah, imagine, right? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> but, uh, that's hey. Wonder what folks yeah, it's, that's, that's, that's this, that's Stay this week's episode. Before you get Tom Holland on. On, yeah, on the podcast. No, but also, guess what? Hey, time for the meme because I hey. finally figured out the method. Hey, we're gonna get a meme now again. Let's see what this one is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's all right. Next week, we'll go. Bye. Tom Hardy's gonna join us next week. Stop lying. Okay. Don't guess like okay. that. Yep. All right, core revise the snow thing. Wash your hands, wear a mask, get your shots, take things, bye. <laughs>